Josh Neighbors here from the Locked On Nationals podcast for another Nationals series recap here on WSA 9 Sports. The Nationals lost two of three this weekend in uh, New York to the New York Mets. A tough series for the Nats. There were some positive signs, but things got off to a rough start. Jacob deGrom for the, for the New York Mets was just spectacular on Friday night. Uh, the Nationals fell in that game 6-0. The Mets were just uh, driven by Jacob deGrom's nine-inning effort. 15 Ks, just two hits allowed. And also, he had two of his own hits uh, and drove in a run. So uh, that was just nothing that the Nationals could do about that performance. They did bounce back very well on Saturday. They won 7-1. to one. Their offense, uh, they kept the line moving. A lot of guys got involved, and they were able to get to Marcus Stroman, who had been fantastic so, uh, so far this year through his first three starts. They chased him after four innings. He gave up uh, five runs, allowing eight hits, and the Nationals, a uh, bunch of guys got in on the act, especially Yadiel Hernandez, who was in addition to the lineup yesterday that we, you know, a lot of people didn't see coming, but he went two for four and had two runs driven in. He was very good uh, in today's loss as well, but the Nationals won that one seven to one, and Joe Ross was very good in that game, uh, recovering from his last really bad outing. He went six strong innings, only surrendering one run. That was a big catalyst for the Nationals. were able to take care of business in the second game. And in the final game today, they fell 4 nothing to the Mets. And uh, a really good pitching performance from Taiwan Walker. He went seven innings for the, for the uh, New York Mets. And then for the Nationals, Patrick Corbin struggled once again. He went four innings, seven hits, four runs allowed, three walks, and just three strikeouts. Uh, home runs from Pete Alonzo and from J.D. Davis really did him in in this game, and the Nationals just could not get their offense going at all. I believe they're 0 for 7 or 0 for 8 with runners in scoring position in this game. Nationals are now 8 and 11, which, all things considered, with their injuries, actually isn't that bad. It might sound bad, but they're still only about a, uh, two games or so out of first place in the division. It's early in the season. Strasburg is still hurt. Soto is still hurt. John Lester has yet to pitch this year for the Nationals. They're still trying to get Will Harris back as well. So there's a lot of moving parts right now in the Nationals are not at full strength. So hopefully they can here get back to that full strength that we can really see what this team is made of. Uh, they will have an off day on Monday before they have two in Florida against the uh, against the Toronto Blue Jays, who are making their home this year in Florida because of Canada not allowing them to play at home. So they'll have two games against the Blue Jays in Florida, another day off on Thursday, and they'll come home for a six-game homestand starting next Friday. They'll play the Marlins and the Braves. Make sure you follow us on Twitter at LO underscore Nationals. You can follow me at Josh Neighbors underscore. Uh, you can also find the Locked On Nationals podcast wherever you all get your podcasts. And as always, until next time, stay safe.